Let's get into Jay-Z, the Jay-Z connection. Now, Jay-Z is viral on social media right now due to what 50 Cent had to say. I went to 50 Cent's uh, Instagram and I saw that he took down the post about Diddy, maybe because he feels like he's already gotten his, uh, you know, he, he, he's gotten his uh, laughs in. But he's posted a couple of different things about Jay. Like he went right to Jay. And I want y'all to understand something about 50. 50 has had issues with Jay for a very long time. And he hasn't forgotten that. And obviously things must not have changed because he's on Jay-Z's helmet. And he's basically saying, hey, Jay, why are you not, you know, out there supporting your homeboy? A guy that you're at numerous parties with numerous get togethers. You're at numerous get togethers. And, and, and by the way, let's, let's listen to what cat Williams have to say about those get togethers. Now I've had to turn down $50 million four times, four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling you about. <laughs> right, uh, cause P Diddy be wanting to body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you my. got to tell him no. I, I did. Oh, I did. Oh, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, I'm, I'm so I mean, free. Kid, 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 I, I need another one. You, here, get you another Thank one too, you, sir. You got to tell him no, but Jay never told him no. <laughs> You know, Jay never told them no. You know, they they always party together. They always part. They party party together. Mm. So you know, Jay is out here. You know, and and Fifty got questions. You know, Fifty got questions. Like, yo, you know, uh, basically making fun of Jay. Um, as a matter of fact, we're gonna get into what he had to say. Fifty Cent. Uh, has been having the time of his life ever since Diddy home uh, since ever since Diddy's home ac homes across the United States were raided by federal agents and he has now dragged another hip hop billionaire into the mess on Tuesday fifth continued his online trolling aimed at the bad boys mogul by putting Jay-Z into the conversation unserious as ever the G unit boss shared an image of a milk carton with Hove's face edited on it, onto its missing children's ad slot. Anybody seen Jay? LOL. He captioned an Instagram post. Puff said the nin said the ninja ain't answering his phone. LOL. This is a post here. Sheesh. <laughs> Yo, listen, listen. I Jay is quiet because Jay doesn't want any smoke, and I'm pretty sure that Jay got secrets. Maybe Puff knows those secrets. You know, there's a lot of these so-called friends of Diddy that aren't saying anything. They're very quiet because they have dirt too. And that's the reason why they're quiet. They're quiet because they have dirt as well. The New York City native poked fun at Diddy and Meek Mill with a deep fake video of Donald Trump using the N-word earlier this week. Soon after the aforementioned Homeland Security investigation to Diddy's properties was revealed in late March. He shared a doctored video that showed the former president Sam Puffy. Uh, Y'all go see that video. Uh, they raided your leap. I see. I got a courtesy call when they raided my house. You really effed up my N word. Reverencing rumors about Meek having relations with Diddy, he added, Can I get a copy of the Meek Mill tape, please? <laughs> Uh, and his caption is added fuel to the controversial post by, uh, by qu quietly predicting that Trump will win the 2024 presidential election. There was another post he put up. I'm gonna go to his Instagram and there's another post, but I hope he haven't taken it down. Cause that's the picture where, you know, he has Jay-Z, uh, waving goodbye to, uh, okay. This is the post right here. This is the post right here. He has like, uh, Jay-Z waving goodbye <laughs> to Diddy as, as Diddy was getting on the uh, the private jet. Uh, let's see. This is it right here. Uh, as y'all can see, let's see if y'all can see it. Right there, as y'all can see. Uh, 50 Cent caption, uh, here is Jay-Z's last reported 
seen waving at Puffy Jet, LOL. As you can see there, that's the post right there too. Yeah, he's on Jay-Z as well. It's almost like he's trying to bait Jay-Z to say something. It's like he's trying to bait Jay-Z to say something. And now Jay-Z's going viral. You're seeing all these clips of Jay-Z at, at certain outings with Diddy. Because let's be real, Diddy was a gatekeeper in hip-hop. When they would have these big get-togethers, um, Diddy would be right there. Diddy would be right there. Diddy was the gatekeeper or is the gatekeeper of, of you know, in the music, well, at least in, in hip hop music, he's a gatekeeper. He was, you know, you got to go meet Puff when you become popular. I remember, I remember when, when the baby, I remember when the baby became, you know, more popular and, uh, he went to go meet Diddy and I guess he must didn't want to party with Diddy. And soon after that, you know, he got arrested, you know, um, he got arrested. I'm not saying that it was because of, you know, Diddy, but I mean, the, the coincidence was, uh, very interesting. Now this is the this is the get together, as you can see. Look at Jay's body language. I want y'all to check out Jay Z's body language. All right. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know the game has been elevated. Um, um, um. As we can tell, there's there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And it's different than when it was. 2016 you know the game has been elevated um, um um as we can tell there's there's no expense being spared we had a black billionaire's lunch it's 2020 y'all yeah and it's different than when it was 2016 you know the game has been elevated um 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 as we can tell there's there's no expense being spared we had a black billionaire's lunch <laughs> Yo, why Jay standing like that, man? Jay is the quiet guy. That's why Dame Dash was always seen as like one of the faces of Rockefeller because he was very out there. Jay was more in the background, do music. But, you know, he wasn't the, he's not the give speeches guy. He give, he lets that be somebody else. He lets other people do the speeches. And Diddy is, is a very flamboyant guy. He always has been. So he's going to be right there to get these speeches. Now, again, this was back in uh, 2020, 2020, which is interesting. It's the COVID year. And, uh, yeah, Jay is this. Let me play this again. Jay is looking very, uh, yeah, he's looking very um, out of it. It's 2020. <laughs> it's almost like he, he doesn't want to be there, but he has to be there. It's like he has to be there. But he's like, why am I around all these dudes? I don't even, I don't even deal with these guys. Yeah. yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. <laughs> black billionaire's lunch. Oh man. And Leonard Fournette is in the background. He's, you know, he's viral as well. Might be from this particular clip. Um, this clip has been seen 5 million times. This clip is going viral. Leonard Fournette. He's right there. NFL player. He's trending standing right next to Diddy. Partying with Diddy. <laughs> He's there partying with Diddy, man. And um and Jay is now being inserted into this by 50. And and 50 is doing this by design because he knows these dudes is weak. They're at a very weak point. And he and he knows that he can go after them and they're not gonna do nothing. Cause what can Jay do at this point? Shout out to Achilles with his uh, 10th super chat. 
on one of my live streams. They, they should have comments of 50 and asked him if he's seen his son. <laughs> Jay-Z should have commented to 50 and asked him if he's seen his son and asked if mm. Marquise still doesn't answer his phone calls. Mm. Appreciate that, Achilles. You might, you know, you know, Jay-Z has that, you know, Jay-Z, one of those guys that he's not afraid to, to speak, to get at you on music. Um, he'll subliminally dish you, uh, but you know, he, he'll, he'll pick up the pen somewhat and put it in music. Um, you know, <laughs> he's always done that. He's never really addressed people on like social media. That's not really his thing, but he'll address you in a song. He'll definitely do that. He'll find some artist that's putting out new music and he'll hop on it and he'll air out his grievances and tell you how successful he is. But 50 know these dudes is vulnerable. And, you know, he has an axe to grind with, with, with Jay-Z. He had an axe to grind. He's always had an axe to grind with, with uh, Diddy. And because Diddy is such a degenerate, reportedly, uh, Diddy did a lot of his own self-destruction himself. No one could do damage to Diddy that Diddy didn't do to himself. And with Jay, it's a little bit different because Jay seemed like the type of person that is going to keep himself as clean as possible and is not going to indulge. Now, he has had some questionable relationship choices, uh, you know, in the past. But we're talking about 90s. Nothing since he's been with Beyonce. So he, he might be cleaner than Diddy, but maybe there's other skeletons that we don't know. So he's not going to, again, Jay-Z's not going to respond on social media. Jay-Z is going to respond musically. He'll hop on a random song and he'll air his grievances. That's how he usually does it. It's 2020, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And it's different than when it was 2016. Yeah. You know, the game has been elevated. Um, 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 as we can tell, there's, there's no expense being spared. We had a black billionaire's lunch. <laughs> the one thing about Puff, Puff is an entertainer for through and through. He, he's he's crazy, you know. But he's a he's an entertainer. Is that it looks like Meek Mill right there? I think that's Meek Mill right there, in a pink suit. It looks like. I believe that's Meek Mill in a pink suit. Leonard Fournette looks so out of place. Leonard Fournette looks so out of place. See when you athletes. See, yeah, that's Meek Mill. <laughs> I'm surprised Meek Mill and Diddy don't have matching suits because it looks like Leonard Fournette got matching jacket pants as Diddy. And then you got Meek Mill right there in the hot pink suit. Mm -hmm. Shout out to everybody. So what's good? Uh, the loving homes What's going on again. Make sure y'all like the stream. It's crazy. Look at this clip, man. It's just a lot going on here. You got Jay-Z who zoned out. You got Diddy giving this awkward speech. And then you got Meek Mill there. Then you got Leonard Fournette out of place. Wherever, wherever Diddy is, Meek is. Meek is wherever Diddy is. Yeah, Fournette is the youngest one there. This was what, like almost four years ago? So he's probably the youngest one there. But it's like he's out of place. He's wearing hot pink. Yeah, he's over there wearing hot pink. <laughs> a hot pink suit. It looks like it might be about 70 some degrees out there. Might be about close to 70, maybe 75 degrees out there, man. Get out there in them suits, man. It's crazy. But you it's it's crazy what you come across. But yeah, man, this it's a lot in this one freeze frame. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on in this in this one freeze frame. It's, it's a lot going on. It's a lot of awkwardness, you know, a lot of out of placeness, you know, and um, yeah, and looks like Fifty Cent is is picking a fight. He's picking a fight with Jay Z because he has an axe to grind with Jay Z. Seems like he has an axe to grind with him. This is um. As you can see that post right there. Uh, right 
there. Let's see. But yeah, that's pretty much it on what he had to say about Jay.